Welcome back, everyone. Professor Popcorn here. Today, I'm going to talk about Baby Reindeer on Netflix that isn't your typical comedy. Based on comedian Richard Gadd's unsettling real-life experiences, the series is a masterclass in unease. It plunges viewers into the chilling world of stalking and harassment, while simultaneously peeling back the layers of a complex and troubled protagonist. Prepare to be both nervously entertained and left constantly looking over your shoulder. Gad stars as Donnie Dunn, a struggling comedian with a glimmer of hope. His life takes a terrifying turn when he encounters Martha, a woman shrouded in a veil of loneliness. A simple act of kindness, a cup of tea, sets off a chain reaction that explodes into a relentless and escalating obsession. Martha's harassment begins subtly, with an onslaught of emails, voicemails, and unwanted gifts. But Baby Reindeer doesn't shy away from showcasing the chilling reality of digital stalking. The series delves into the terrifying power of technology in the hands of an obsessive stalker. Martha relentlessly messages Donnie across social media platforms, tracks his online activity, and floods his inbox with emails, creating a suffocating digital prison. The show masterfully portrays the constant fear of online exposure and the violation of privacy that comes with digital stalking. The terror doesn't stay confined to the digital realm. Martha's stalking becomes a physical threat, shattering Donnie's sense of security. She shows up unannounced at his comedy gigs, turning his moments of professional expression into potential confrontations. His home, a place of solace, becomes a potential death trap. The series doesn't flinch from depicting the chilling fear of being watched, the constant unease that Martha could be anywhere, even lurking in the shadows of his own apartment building. Baby Reindeer explores the devastating impact on Donnie's personal life. The constant harassment blurs the lines between public and private life. He can't escape Martha's presence, whether he's trying to perform stand-up comedy, find solace with friends, or simply relax at home. The fear of being followed and the constant state of hypervigilance isolate him, eroding his sense of self and his ability to connect with others. As Donnie grapples with Martha's stalking, the series cleverly weaves in another layer of psychological complexity. The show introduces Darian, a seemingly successful TV writer who becomes Donnie's mentor. However, this initial charm quickly dissolves as Darian exposes Donnie to a world of hard drugs and manipulative behavior. The series doesn't shy away from portraying the psychological manipulation and dark underbelly of the entertainment industry. This traumatic experience, a painful chapter in Donnie's past, becomes a source of buried pain that resurfaces as his present situation spirals out of control. The show subtly suggests that this experience might have made Donnie more susceptible to Martha's obsessive behavior, highlighting the potential cycle of abuse. Gad delivers a phenomenal performance, portraying Donnie's emotional roller coaster with raw authenticity. We see his initial hope and ambition crumble under Darian's manipulation and Martha's relentless stalking. Gad masterfully captures the descent into fear and paranoia, the erosion of his sense of security, and the desperate struggle to maintain a semblance of normalcy. Baby Reindeer is not for the faint of heart. The subject matter is disturbing, and the humor is dark and often uncomfortable. The show serves as a stark reminder of the terrifying realities of stalking and the psychological impact it has on victims. However, for those seeking a show that transcends genre and challenges expectations, it's a must-watch. Gad's stellar performance and the show's unflinching portrayal of these themes make it a memorable, albeit unsettling, viewing experience. Baby Reindeer is a powerful and disturbing exploration of stalking, weaving in themes of trauma, manipulation, and the struggle for identity. The show's unique blend of dark humor and psychological drama will stay with you long after the credits roll. It's a chilling and thought-provoking series that will leave you questioning the masks people wear and the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface. The series ends on a hauntingly ambiguous note. 
Donnie, seeking solace after the ordeal with Martha, visits a pub. He attempts to order a Diet Coke, but to his further despair, he realizes he doesn't have enough money to pay for it. This seemingly insignificant detail adds a layer of tragic comedy to the situation. Donnie, having just escaped a terrifying experience, is left feeling defeated and depleted. Even the smallest pleasures seem out of reach. The ending leaves the audience wondering about Donnie's future. Will he find peace, or will the experience continue to cast a shadow over his life? If you like this review, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews in the future. Also comment down below what you thought of this new Netflix show.